The Speaker recognizes Representative Tlaib. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in opposition to this bill. Of course, we don't want people that have a substance abuse problem taking our, um, uh, using, misusing the um, services that they're getting from the state, uh, possibly to, to buy more drugs or, or again, misuse the, the funds. However, I don't think this gets to the core problem that we have in our state, which is we are not funding substance abuse prevention programs. We are not funding those programs. So we're knocking people out of assistance without offering that as, as, as part of the um, response to this issue that I think we're trying to address here. You know, this is politics. If we really were worried about drug users and uh, people with addiction issues taking our taxpayer dollars, I wish people would have Mike Illich or all these people that get these large tax breaks from our state and from our various city governments to have drug tests as well. We all get public taxpayer dollars. We all should be tested for drugs as well. We all should be held accountable to the same standards as we ask a single mom who may have grown up with a mother with an abuse, uh, with substance abuse issues. There is this generation of folks that need assistance and they need drug abuse prevention programs not to be knocked out, not to be not given any opportunity to have their children live without this kinds of abuse. So I really ask my colleagues to please rethink about how we're trying to address this issue. And let's be fair, if we're going to allow a single mom or someone that has children to be knocked off of assistance to the state, then we should consider every single person that takes our taxpayer dollars, including those that tax get tax abatements, head of, head of companies and so forth, to be held to the same standard. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The clerk will close the board. The clerk will tally, display, and announce the vote. Madam Speaker, on the question of concurring in the Senate substitute as substituted, there are 74 I votes and 35 nay votes. A majority of the members elected and serving having voted therefore, the Senate substitute as substituted is concurred in. The House will agree to the title of the bill.